Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day. From the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture from March the 29th of 2020, well it is titled the 212 hour exposure of Orion. So what do we see here? Well, how do you take an exposure for 212 hours of one part of the sky? Well, it can't be done in a single day, obviously, and it is done over multiple night times, and in this case, over the course of uh, 2013 and 2014, so more than a year's worth of time put together to really put to take these images. Now, it looks like one image, but it's actually a number of images of the same region of the sky taken on different nice clear nights and then digitally combining those images together. Now, each image would not be able to show this much detail because it wouldn't collect enough light. So this is essentially the equivalent of that very long exposure and taking very faint things that may be invisible in an individual image. And when you combine um, more than a thousand images taken over this time period, you could then put them together and then be able to see things that are much fainter than you could possibly get with any single image. Now, what do we see here? Well, this is the constellation of Orion, and that's off towards the right-hand side of the image, and it's kind of blurred out by all of the different nebulae that are present there. So in order to see things better, the image has been annotated, and when the mouse is moved over the image, we can then see the outline of the constellation of Orion. The bright star Betelgeuse in the upper left and Rigel down in the lower right, and the three stars in the belt of Orion kind of hidden there. So we can look at the whole outline of Orion, but we also see all of these nebulae. And within Orion, Orion is a very rich star-forming region, and we see lots of nebulae around there. The Orion Nebula towards the bottom here uh, is a very prominent star-forming region that we've looked at many times. And we also see things like the Horsehead Nebula, kind of buried in there by the belt of Orion, and the Flame Nebula very close to it. And those are surrounded by Barnard's Loop, a big loop of material. And all of this reddish glow is caused by hydrogen gas. So because this is a star-forming region, it forms new stars, and the stars that form first and the most prominent stars are the hottest ones. And those emit a lot of ultraviolet radiation, which can excite the hydrogen and cause it to glow. And when hydrogen is excited, it gives off a very distinct red color that we are seeing here. Now we can see a couple other nebulae off to the upper left-hand side, which are the Rosette Nebula and the Fox Fur Nebula. And a lot of these we have looked at over the course of many of the images here on this site. So we've looked at things like the Horsehead Nebula, the Flame Nebula, the Rosette Nebula, the Fox Fur Nebula, and definitely the Orion Nebula. And even uh, off towards the lower right-hand side, the Witchhead Nebula there. So a lot of different nebulae that we've looked at individually, and here we're getting a perspective, being able to put them all together in one region of the sky and in that very nebula-rich region around the constellation of Orion. So that was our picture of the day for March the 29th of 2020. It was titled, A 212-Hour Exposure of Orion. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Shadow Saturn. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.